Honorable colleagues, I welcome you to the first sitting of 2023. During the plenary sitting on Friday, 6th January 2023, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taibwa, named a seven-member committee to investigate allegations of misconduct against the State Minister for Housing, Lands and Urban Development, Honorable Persis Namuganza. This followed a motion to censure the minister, moved on Friday, 23rd December 2022, by Agago North Member of Parliament, Honorable John Amos Okot. On the 23rd of December, we came here and the Honorable Amos Okot presented a motion for censure of the Honorable Pasinam Ganga as per Rule 109 of our Rules of Procedure and uh, Article 118 of the Constitution. Uh, we received the motion as it had garnered the required signatures that are provided for under our Rules of Procedure. Uh, and on that same day, I transmitted that same motion to the President. Under Rule 109, Sub Rule 9, it's very clear that within 14 days, after 14 days of transmitting it to the President, I must cause Parliament to sit and appoint a select committee that will investigate the Minister with the aim of establishing a prima facie case. That committee, in the process, under the same rule, it allows, uh, number one, that it can co-opt any member to support it in its duty. Number two, it, it uh, allows the honorable who is accused, any member accused, to appear before the committee, either directly or through the representative, and defend themselves. So it would ensure that, indeed, rules of natural justice uh, uh, are followed. I therefore propose the following members. Uh, number one, Honorable Mwinempaka Ramirama Mbarasite South, a chairperson of the committee. Honorable Nwagaba Wilfred Ndogwa East, one of the senior legislators and uh, the custodians of the rules, ensure that the rules are well followed. Uh, Honorable Mpindi Bumari, people with disabilities, uh, Honorable Bakaburindi Charles for workers, Honorable Nancy Achora, woman MP Lamo District, and Honorable Narui Mabeti Esther, woman MP Wakiso District, and the Honorable uh, Geoffrey Ekanya, Tororo North. Members, I now want to put a question uh, uh, that the committee be approved. Those in favor say aye, and to the contrary, nay. The eyes have it. During the same sitting, the Deputy Speaker directed the Minister for Works and Transport to present a statement on the road accidents and what the enforcing agencies are doing to curb the carnage. Taewa cited the many accidents over the festive season, which claimed many lives. The Minister of Transport will be required to come here and give us a statement which we will subject to a thorough debate. We shall need a comprehensive statement showing uh, measures being put in place by government. Because like yesterday on Twitter, I saw on the Twitter page of uh, one of the former members of parliament, the Honorable Pereza, a driver of a bus with over 50 people eating caro and boiled chicken when he's driving the bus at a high speed. If we don't give it the attention that is, necess that is necessary, it's going to fall on all of us. A report of the Parliament Committee on Public Accounts in Charge of Local Government made recommendations that accounting officers at local governments should be held liable for cases of financial misreporting and mismanagement. The report presented by the committee chairperson, Honorable Martin Ojara Mapenduzi, focused on the report of the Auditor General for the financial year 2020-2021 on 49 district local governments, six cities, and five municipal councils. The committee met and interacted with 137 districts and municipalities out of 139, as per the Auditor General's report, out of which 21 local governments were reported on uh, reported on in previous committee reports. The report covers uh, key issues, uh, which is uh, categorized into two sections. 
namely one key issues under local governments with qualified opinion and secondly uh, key issues on local government findings under general and cross-cutting queries in the different entities as reported. This report, right honorable speaker, has been compiled based on the findings of the Audit Auditor General and observations of the committee, mainly to show the current state of local governments and to aid policymakers in improving the performance of the local governments, as highlighted below. This report on 60 local governments actually does present a fair representation of what is happening in the rest of the local governments. So it will help us as government, it will help us as local governments to improve in terms of management and accountability of funds. So government will implement the recommendations of the report and give parliament a feedback on actions taken at each entity as given in the report. In the sitting, the Minister of State for Finance in charge of general duties, Honorable Henry Musasizi said, investigations into non-payment of December salaries for civil servants will be carried out. He said this in response to concerns raised by Honorable Sarah Najuma that, despite assurances by the Finance Minister Honorable Matia Kasaija to Parliament in mid-December to immediately release funds for salary payments, scientists in Nakaseke District had not yet received their December salaries. Honorable Speaker, most of these civil servants have salary loans and they are being given fines in the, bank, in the, in the is, banking institutions. So I need clarification from the Minister of Finance since he's around on the same matter. Thank you so much, Right Honorable Speaker. I want to propose, Right Honorable Speaker, that you allow us to do an investigation to find out what is going on, why people continue, remain unpaid, when from our side we have really released all the wage for the period. Honorable Ivan Remulikia appealed for immediate medical support to victims of the attacks by suspected allied Democratic Forces ADF rebels. Many of our residents of Weramule and the Kibuk Town Council fled their areas for safety and others were critica critically injured. I would want to thank our mighty force, UPDF, for the job well done. I think in Toroko now is safe and people are beginning to return to their homes. The Right Honorable Speaker, I would also want to thank you and the Right Honorable Speaker and together with the Prime Minister for the efforts in, in, in getting food relief to our displaced people. We urgently need food relief to the people who got displaced because some of them have, are fearing to go back to their places. We need medical support to the citizens, two of them who were critically injured and some of them are here in Milago. I undertake to have a discussion with him to see how best how the team that he has talked about who are currently receiving medical attention can be helped. Housewide John Design died. 